Hey guys, this is Mike Cricket 113 in the shack in front of the computer. Got the radio on. I did my tests on the uh, SWRs uh, on uh, 5 watts to start and then uh, up to 60. Um, so it seems like to, it's coming out pretty well. On uh, 40 meters, I was getting SWRs around like 1.8 to about uh, 2.3 actually, uh, which isn't too bad without the tuner. Uh, if you need a tuner, I suggest you use it. You either use the one inside your radio, which for me is the FT991 Alpha, uh, or you have an external one. MFJ sells plenty of them, uh, automatic and manuals. But anyway, so on uh, 40 meters, it was doing good. Uh, 20 meters, I was getting low as uh, 1.4 to about 1.7 uh, without a tuner, and that's what this test was all about, no tuners, okay? Uh, on uh, on uh, 10 meters, it was really, really good. I was getting anywhere between a 1.2 to uh, a 1.4. And uh, in the FM portion, uh, 29,600, it was a little high, So, but I was able to use the tuner. So it's, it's generally, for all the bands that I'm mentioning, it's mostly for the lower end the sideband portion or the digital portion. Um, let's see here, what else did I test? On uh, six meters, six meters, I was quite surprised. Uh, over or down by the calling frequency, uh, which is 50.125, I was getting about a 1.6, 1 1.9 uh, thereabouts. Uh, over on 51, 136, for some reason I was getting a 1.8. I tried the uh, FM calling frequency which on 6 meters, which is 52.525. Uh, that was, uh, you definitely need a tuner for that. Without the tuner, it was about a 4, so uh, definitely need the tuner. And then I also was able to pull up a uh, local 6 meter repeater that's linked up. Uh, that's around 53 megahertz. And yes, I was ha having to use the tuner, but uh, I was able to work it. Uh, and so that was great. Uh, just did a test. I uh, just got a QSO test uh, with a gentleman in Albany, and I'll put that up in a little while. Uh, so I know it's working. I know it's working. Albany, New York, from uh, Pennsylvania. Not it's not too far, but on 40 meters, it was great. Uh, I did use the tuner, uh, but uh, to to make contact at first, I wasn't using the tuner, and then I tuned him in. Uh, I tuned the radio in to make it happy, and uh, it was uh, it was quite good QSO. We talked for a while, and uh, told him what I was using and and whatnot. So anyway, this is the uh, MFJ's uh, webpage here, MFJEnterprises.com. This is the product page for the uh, the 210 here. Uh, so the so the antenna itself, 69.95, not too bad, not too bad at all. I'm gonna scroll down. Now, you saw my part one and uh, video. Whoops, let me get that away from there. You saw my part one and uh, my uh, center part here did not look like that. So uh, MFJ uh, suggests you update your website <laughs> with a proper updated picture. Uh, mine was more uh, diamond shaped, I guess, as you saw in part one of the video. But anyway, uh, let's just look at the description here. Uh, we got the ultralight 40, 20, 10, and 6 meters can handle up to 300 watts PEP. Uh, single sideband and CW, perfect for low profile, portable, and QRP operation. Uh, so let's see here 40, 20, 10, and 6 meters. I can tell you that I tested out, it tuned up on, with the tuner, of course, it tuned up on 12 meters, and it tuned up on my favorite band. Uh, 17 meters so i was pretty happy about that just so you know so this says 40 20 10 and 6 i had 40 20 17 with the tuner 12 with the tuner 10 and 6 meters handles up to 300 watts pep all right we got that part uh 66 foot long 66 foot long now it's off center fed so you have a like a 40 some odd foot and a uh, 20 some odd foot all right, so it's saying it's got 11.5 dBi gain on 10 meters, which is really cool. Six meters. Oh, and six meters. So that's really awesome. And then uh, what do we got here? 
delivers up to 6 dBi on 40 meters and 9 dBi on 20 meters. Oh wow, that's awesome. That is awesome. Uh, what else we got going on here? So you guys can read this. It's all on the website, but I just wanted to uh, show you that. Uh, the, I'll link the, uh, the product page in, in the description as well. Um, what else do we got here? So it's got a super ballon in it. Uh, you know, to block the feed line radiation. And uh, current choke has over 30 dB of common mode rejection on all the bands. Kills pattern, irregularities, RFI, and noise. Oh, I could attest to that. It's pretty pretty quiet. Uh, I have it in the inverted V uh, uh, pattern, as you guys saw in part two. Uh, and uh, so that makes it, for the most part, om omnidirectional. And that's uh, that's the way to go, I think. Uh, horizontal is great, too, but uh, depending if you want to work a dir certain direction. But I couldn't do that, so I did the inverted V, so we are omnidirectional. Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, so that's that. Easy to install. See how it says here, suggested height at 35 to 70 feet. I think in my first video or second video, I said 30 to uh, 70 feet. Uh, as you know, I only have mine up a height of 24 feet, and it's working. Apparently, it's working. So, uh, on the website, you can download the manuals, all the manuals for MFJ's products, are on its website and you can download them and print them out in PDF form. Uh, so I just wanted to pull that up and show you. So yeah, it's just, uh, I guess it's helpful. I mean, it's nice to have a hard copy so you could always print it out, but uh, you know, it's nice to have it online. So I usually, any product that I do have, I keep the manual online on the computer saved. Uh, power rating, once again, 300 watts. And this does these are little SWR samplings that they do. Now, mind you, they have this sampling at these bar or line graphs here at 60 feet. They have a they have the antenna up 60 feet, and or no, shown below, we're taken through 60 feet in low loss RG8X cable with an antenna mounted 45 feet above the ground in a backyard residential installation. Now, my mine's a little different, but. See, this, is, this will give you a little bit of an idea, and I'll zoom in on that. Uh, at those parameters that I just spoke of, what kind of SWRs you can get. Uh, now, mind you, there, God knows where they did this test, and everybody's conditions are going to be different. Uh, but just so you know, 60 feet... Uh, oh, 60 feet of low-loss RGA cable. Let me uh, fix that right now. Sorry. So, 60 feet of cable... Uh, 45 feet above the ground. All right, so that's the uh, the test that they did on uh, 40, 20, 10 meters, and 6 meters. So as you can see, it's getting kind of high uh, on the higher portion of uh, 6 meters. But uh, right around here where we like to talk on 10 meters, uh, sideband, it's really low, and 40 meters as well, and 20, doing great. So I'm not seeing the exact same results as this, but on 10, definitely. And 20 as well so uh, not too bad the patterns uh, at 45 feet 40 meters you got this uh, jelly bean kind of shape 20 meters you start seeing the uh, butterfly kind of shape but still still pretty good still pretty good and then uh, for 10 and 6 you got more of a butterfly moth shape so that's the radiation pattern and uh, there's the DBIs as well so not too bad, not too bad. They got your technical assistance number, and that's really cool. That's really cool. If you have to, any questions, you can call them. 12-month warranty, limited, of course. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you all that. And uh, once again, this is the uh, MFJ 2010 off-center fed dipole. And uh, I'll be uh, putting up a couple more uh, little shorts uh, of me making some contacts. So have a good one, guys. It's been fun. And thank you, Richard Stubbs, for this opportunity to, uh, to test the products and uh, give my opinion. So have a good one. Take care, and we'll be clear.